When you first open MainStage, you have a choice of several different concert templates that are provided by Apple. And the way I navigate through these things is using arrows. I can select them like this for sure, but let me just show you tricks and tips involving arrows. On a laptop, I'm talking about these four right here, right, left, up, and down. And if you're on a tower, of course, it's over on the number pad, those four. Now, if I take my right arrow, and just start toggling through these concerts. I can see right here a nice description of what each one is, and I can just move right through. This on the left is a list. I can just filter it down to just keyboards, or just guitar rigs, or just vocals, etc. I can even get it down to the recent concerts that I've been working on. Okay, I can resize these icons so that I can take a closer look at the concerts themselves and to get to the next window, I can use the right keys or the down keys, okay? And I can also get fancy pants out here and do it the iTunes way, just like this. Either way, I'm going to load this first one by double clicking, and this is gonna give me an assortment of all the best of sort of patches. It comes up, I'm, I'm loading actual instruments right here and it's in the form of a concert. Now, these concert templates, I'm just gonna show you some extra love right here. I'm gonna take this out of the way for the moment. When I install Logic, this North Star is my hard drive, okay? These are just slot drives, but this is my system drive. I have, in the library, I have library app support Logic. Now, if you're wondering why I have certain things colored. It's just to, to work on stuff quicker. The way you color something is just select it, right click it, and just move to a color. You can even add an icon by finding an icon somewhere that you like. And how you add icons is this way. You select the folder with the icon that you like. You say I, Apple I, or get info from this menu right there. Then you click there, edit copy, close it, go to the other icon, Apple I or File, Get Info, select the icon, Edit, Paste, just like that. That's how that's done. Okay, so why am I down here? I'm trying to show you something. Down in a Logic Studio install, you see project templates and you expect, oh, main stage concert templates. No, these are for Logic right here. And then you go to main stage patches, and yeah, I see some patches in here from main stage. But where are these concert templates? Here's a little trick. The concert templates for main stage are actually here, applications, main stage, and this icon right here. How do I get under that icon and see those concert templates? I just right click this, say show package contents, and I get this folder. And I'm going to scroll right down. And this is probably not recommended if you don't need to get in here and change it. But I wanted to show you that these concerts are all down in here. You could really, really get screwed down here. Um, but this is how people customize programs. That's how they switch icons. That's how they customize. So if you want to just disguise main stage so that it looks custom and you're Main stage looks different than everybody else's. You get in here and swap all these icons out. But this is all just extra love. Cool. So in the next tutorial, we are going to skin this interface and describe all the elements of what we're looking at right there.